the most exciting things about ancient artifacts is their ability to make history come alive. We asked a group of students from Thomas Whittam's sixth form in Burnley to work with us in the John Rylands Library to imagine daily life in Roman Egypt. We've got in the John Rylands collections uh, written sources, papyri, and in the Manchester Museum we've got wonderful portraits that were inside the cases of Egyptian mummies. Um, and these two sources that we have actually are from the same period, they're from the Roman period. And so what we have in archaeological excavations were mummies were found that were in traditional Egyptian cases, but once you got inside you would see a Roman style, Roman period portrait of a, what looks to us like a Roman person. We then asked the students to get creative. Their job was to write an imaginary first-person account from the point of view of one of the people depicted in the Manchester Roman mummy portraits. We asked them to draw on what is known about the portraits, what they had learned from the Rylands papyri, and also their own experience of living in a multicultural society. I think you'll agree that the results were extraordinary. I died in Hawara in the middle of the 2nd century. I died in Egypt in the late 1st century. I died in Hawara in early 2nd century. I died in Egypt in the middle of the 2nd century. Um, I died in Egypt in the late 2nd century. I died in Hawara in the middle of the 2nd century. I'm a very successful poet. My family are very wealthy. My parents are extremely religious and I myself follow the cult of Isis. Um, I'm a wealthy man and this is signified by the purple in my clothing. I'm a very religious man and a father of two, but I rarely see them as my slaves look after them. I followed the trends and the fashions of the time, which is why I have this trendy facial hair. For fun, I, make my, I like to boss my slaves around. The portrait shows me younger than I was. I am Olivia, an Egyptian woman who hails from a wealthy and prosperous family. My family consists of my parents and four younger sisters. My age is 25 and as you can see, it is not a suitable marital age. I'm part of a popular band from the mid-2nd sec uh, mid century. I'm the bloke on the drums at the back. I follow no religion, but I try to keep that on the down low, so not to upset society. My name is Mary and I was born into a wealthy family. I am 25 years old and have three daughters with a man who I do not love. Um, Mum, when I was younger my mother died and she was religious like my father which I find hard to understand because I do not believe in a God. This portrait was done as a tribute by my family. It was done when I was 31 years old after I just made my fortune. I was mainly serious but my lovable side was seen by my wives and eight children. Um, a couple of years ago I had an affair with um, a non-religious man who was very poor and my father hated him. I have a wife, three children, one son, two daughters. I write poems and epic tales for a living. Dad's just been promoted, so I'm being forced to have this portrait done of myself. I turn 29 tomorrow, I might celebrate by getting my locks chopped. Currently, my father, Alexander, is searching for a capable Egyptian man to marry me. However, I have not been blessed with beauty. I cannot appeal to any rich Egyptian man. I had this portrait made so that I could be re remembered as the youthful, youthful, wealthy and handsome person that I was.